Welcome to Robo Compass Tutorial. Today I am going to tell you how to draw a equilateral triangle using Robo Compass. First, we will take text. Text is like construction of equilateral. triangle using robo compass see how this displays there is some error here one hyphen is missing now it will work the text will display on the top of the ribbon construction of equilateral triangle using robo compass for this one first select a point let a is equal to point uh, let's take it as minus okay 4 and uh, 3 you can see the point if you want to change the color of that point you can just change it like this otherwise leave it as it is next we have to draw a line uh, give name for that line a is equal to line defining each and every object is very important because it simplifies our process of our steps of construction a is a line between two points so here we have to mention the coordinates of the two points first point is a this A I have already defined. Next, the next point is I am taking it as dependent variable that is the x coordinate of the point A plus how much length that line I want that number we have to add here. Suppose I want to draw a line of 6 cm then add plus 6 that is the x coordinate of A plus 6 units then y coordinate of a see the line comes like this i can increase this length 8 up to 10th i can increase next we have to mark one more point that is b is equal to point here we can copy the coordinate of the point b that is x of a plus 10 y of a this is the coordinate of the second point and i am naming that point as b just rearrange these things now see the letter a is coming down we can replace that positions like this that is alignment okay and then the label of the line a now the line is ready usually while doing or while constructing the equilateral triangle we use compass here also we are using compass to draw the arcs for this one name the each arc that is define the arcs as i am defining it as okay b b is equal to arc whatever the uh, letters you like you can take for defining now i am going to draw an arc from the point a that is with a as center and radius a from the po uh, point i have to select uh, let it be some uh, 60 degree to 40 degree let's see how this appears see i have taken full length as radius it's not at all moving. Let's change this one for how it will work. See, if you give the radius of the arc first, then it the compass will 
show the measuring of that radius also. See, I will show you once again. A is the radius, that is the first point. Second point is the center. Third is the starting point of the arc. And fourth is the up to which how much degree it has to move. Now it is very far away. So I am reducing this as 50. No, again it will, we will make it as 40. The arc is coming closer and closer. So same thing like this. Draw another arc. ARC arc radius now we are going just i will show you how you let it be a the, because we are drawing the arc of the same radius with center b and let it be uh, how much degree shall i take it from here 140 or 100 to 40 let's see see the two arcs intersect clearly but just see here the compass is measuring from a to b and then it is getting reversed in order to avoid this we can write here as minus a now see the difference from b it measures the distance a and then it will come as usually as the students draw in the class now Define the point of intersection of these two arcs. That is, let it be capital C. Yeah, C is equal to point of intersection. That means intersect of the points, intersect of the arcs. The arcs we have defined as B and C. So, the arc B and C. The intersect of the arcs B and C. I will change this color. See the point is appearing clearly. We will move that label little bit higher. See. This is B. And this is the arc C. You can drag and drop anywhere like this. Move. If we don't want to show this, the uh, show the labels of this arcs, you just uncheck this show label. See. Now this will be the labels will be high. Then, in order to draw the triangle, we have to join the points AC and BC. So just line between the points A and C. Again, similarly, or you can just copy this one. It will simplify your work. A, B and C. Here, it is B and C. Now, A, B, C is an equilateral triangle. We can confirm this one by measuring the distance. In order to measure the distance, distance, A, C. See, this is 10. Maple. Change this color. Similarly, find the distance between B and C. And also, distance of the line we have already defined that line as A. So, this is the distance of the line. See, all the three lines are equal. Therefore, it is an equilateral triangle. Let's see the video, construction video. Play. The text is coming in the beginning. We can control the speed also. Just a moment. See, I'm in order to control the speed, take any one. Here, the speed bar is here. If you move like far away, it will be very speed. If you give, move it to the left, the speed will be low. 
so uh, let's make it fast apply to apply this speed to all if you give this one each and every step will move with this speed only see it here now see now the construction is going very fastly this is how we can construct an equilateral triangle using a robo compass this is measuring the sides <laughs> now we can fill this interior area also to make it more colorful fill the polygon made by a b and c examples fill polygon we can change this color also see we can make it more awesome but we cannot change the intensity of the colors in robo compass only we can use the colors which are available here like this we can make our constructions more beautiful thank you for watching